I make albums by the day. Is there much more I can say? Ball it up on the court like every day. Well, I shoot for three. Yeah, my name is Jay. Hey, what's up, guys? You got your boy Josh, aka You've been Nubified. And right now, you guys are watching the Super Bowl where the Browns will face off against the Green Bay Packers. Let's go. Like I said, who would have thought? It's the Super Bowl, we only got one shot. Here we go, Browns, we can't back down. If we get this win, we're gonna show off our crown. Yeah, it's not time to lose. What we gotta do is downright abuse. When we win, we'll be on the world news. And ESPN Sports Center awkwardly confused. Tackle, run, pass, block. We catch every single ball. When you look at the Browns, you can say that our team has it all. It will be tough. And there is gonna be a brawl But whoever wins this game is the best team in football Hey, what is up, guys? You got your boy Josh, aka You've Been Buffied. What do you think of the rap? I decided to put it at the beginning of the video this time because, you know, it's a special occasion. It's the Super Bowl. We needed motivation. The Browns needed motivation because this is a clutch game. Hopefully, a lot of you guys watch this because this is the end of my first actual, like, legit gaming series because, like, Madden 13 is coming out Tuesday, and I believe I'm going to pre order it today, which is Sunday. Hopefully, if I get the chance to actually go to the store and get it, because I want to pre order it. I have no clue why, but I just want to. But look at that little maneuver Joe Webb puts on the Packers defense. Does like a little spin around, do si do rodeo thing, and just uh, runs for the first down, so that's pretty cool. But like I said, hopefully, I'm getting uh, Madden 13 on Tuesday. And uh, just letting you guys know, there is a hint in this video to what team I will be using. So, um, yeah, so just look out for that, and, uh, like, I, it may be a little f a clip, or maybe a frame, or something like that, like, one frame in this video, like, Ray William Johnson, or maybe something else, you just gotta look for it, and, um, yeah, please don't say anything in the comments, if you know what it is, you know what it is, then, uh, be excited. I took a lot of you guys, your guys' opinions, I got a lot of people that said, you know, Josh, we love we love the Browns and we love that you're you're trying to stick with them and uh, you should stick with your hometown team you know and I had a lot of people that say no Browns we want like a Lions or a Jaguars or something like that or like have us pick t pick from teams but you'll see if you just look in this video you'll be able to see which team I will pick so just don't tell anyone don't go in the comments if you do I will be mad I'm kidding I mean like. <laughs> It's, uh, it's not going to be definite, but whatever. But you see right there, Lawrence Vickers, I am so glad we picked him up. He has performed so well in the playoffs. And look at that new transition. Yes, I have upgraded editing software, guys. So, now look at that. A TV screen little uh, fuzzy thing. <laughs> I just decided, you know, it's time to upgrade. So I upgraded, and now the videos are just going to be so much more intense because of all the different transitions and I'm going to be able to like move the frames and I'm able going to be able to speed clips up faster and uh, slow them down without wasting like a whole amount of time so it's going to be so much easier but you know let's get into this gameplay the Packers they were dominant 
I mean, like, these are my two top favorite teams, the Browns and the Packers, and then comes the 49ers. But these are my two top favorite teams, and I was so upset. when it, as, as soon as I saw I was facing the Packers, I was like, you know, I am done. I'm not going to do this. But look at this huge pass. I, I was like, you know what? It's incomplete. No way. See, they're waving it off. They're like, it's incomplete. I'm like, you know, that's fantastic because if they would have brought that in, I would have been so upset. But wait. Yes. Booth review. Whenever there's a booth review, some, something always has to be overturned. And you know, they called it incomplete. His foot was out of bounds. Just look at this. Obviously, uh, his foot knocked over the pylon. Or whatever. Look at this. Overturned. Yep, troll face. <laughs> I was so upset. I went automatically to instant replay. I was so frustrated. I didn't know how to use it. I was like, what is going on? I didn't know whether to go to the ball or the player or anything. But right here, I go to Finley. And you see, it's looking like he keeps it inbounds at first. But it looks like it. You see right there, there's his one foot. But look at his other foot. Look at his left foot. Clearly on the white turf. It's out of bounds. And the animation brings his foot out of bounds as well. But that made me so upset, and I was like, you know what? I was literally about to rage quit. I was like, you know, that's not that's not fair. It Madden, Madden hates Josh. Has to, hashtag Madden hates Josh. It's just, it's not fair. Because this always has to happen to me. Something huge has to happen, and something horrible has to happen. But, you know, I'm just going to... I'm just going to go with the flow and uh, just take the kickoff. Torrey Smith had an okay game um, on the returns. Not fantastic, but, you know, it's the Super Bowl. you got to perform. Joe Webb gets totally owned. Um, I really hope that my the team that I use for my offensive uh, team that I use for Madden 13 franchise has a good offensive line. You know, hopefully I can at least build it up. I'm going to be using also some... Uh, some Hall of Fame sliders, or not, I don't know if it's Hall of Fame, it's not Hall of Fame, it's all Madden, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to be using sliders, or if I'm just going to go all Madden, because right here I'm playing on all Madden sliders, I think, Mr. Hurricanes, but I'm like adjusting, I think I adjusted them just a little, but they're still all Madden, but Aaron Rodgers tosses it up to Greg Jennings, and there's only 16 seconds left in the first half, so they're going to call a no huddle, they have no timeouts left, and Aaron Rodgers is going to spike the ball to give them enough time for one more play, which they do not convert, and they're going to have to go for the field goal. So they sink it with one second left, and look at Brett Favre's back. Brett, hi. <laughs> yeah, um, it's just randomly the kicker has number four. So I just thought that was hilarious. I was like, wait, what was that? <laughs> I had to like relook at it. I was like, whoa. <laughs> so uh, the Packers are leading 10 to seven. Hopefully our Browns can come back. Five minutes left in the third quarter. Joe Webb's going to drop back. Toss it up to Josh Cribbs. Surprisingly, I barely ever toss a uh, uh, throw ball to Josh Cribbs. But luckily, he was open, and uh, he brought it in for the reception. So, uh, nice gain of yards right there. Nice toss over the middle to Terrell Owens. Uh, one reception for 13 yards on the day. Joe Webb is going to hand it off to Brandon Jacobs, who always has to come up in the clutch. He always gets these clutch runs within like the 30 yard line and just performs for us so that's why I love uh, Brandon Jacobs he does amazing and right there you know he comes up in the clutch goes in for the touchdown and that happens to be his 50th career rushing touchdown so what better to get it in the Super Bowl I believe this is Super Bowl 46 and he scores so that's pretty cool 50th uh, rushing touchdown in his career and uh, it's in the Super Bowl maybe can even lead us to uh, a victory but Phil Dawson kicks it in, so now it is 14-10. Browns are in the lead. Is this really happening? Like, look at that. Joe, Joe Hayden nearly, like, doing a WWE move on uh, Starks right there. But I actually believe we injured Starks early in the game, but he came back. It was just, like, a minor injury, something like that. But this is it. I mean, there, there's only five, 5 minutes, 55 seconds left in uh, the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl, and the Browns are leading by four. So the Packers need a touchdown. Like, there's no, like, you can't just kick a field goal where you can try for an onside kick. But they're going to have to end up punting it with four minutes left. And this right here 
is where it's clutch time. This is the best moments in the NFL. This is where the moment happens, or something huge happens. Peyton Hillis get the nice nine-yard run, and he runs it right up the middle once again for about, I would say, nine yards, nine or eight yards, and we hand it off to Peyton Hillis once again. We're keeping the clock running. They still have all three of their timeouts, but it's now down to two minutes left, and uh, we're going to rush the ball right up the middle. Peyton Hillis gets another first down. So the Packers are going to use their first timeout. We're still up by four. We're going to hand it off to Hillis once again, keeping the clock running. So we're going to force them to call another timeout and, of course, another running play to force them to call their final timeout. So there's only one minute and 46 seconds left. We kneel the ball, and uh, we're going to hand it off to Peyton Hillis one more time. He's going to run right over the side and get a nice eight-yard run. It's third and two with one minute left. One minute left. We're going to kneel it. And like I said, who would have thought? It's the Super Bowl. We only got one shot. Here we go, Browns. We can't back down. If we get this win, we can show off our crown. And there we go. Browns are Super Bowl champions. Bill Dawson kicks in the field goal. 17 to 10. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next video. Peace. Since 2002, had never played in a Super Bowl before tonight. But now the nightmares of failures past, from the fumble to the drive, can be wiped away as the Browns now stand at midfield to hoist the Lombardi Trophy. Their rebuilding process took shape last season with the rising stardom of Josh Cribbs and Peyton Hillis. And now the dog pound can celebrate the culmination of front office patience and the on-field effort. And what a feeling it must be. Congratulations, Cleveland. You are champions. What a moment for every single one of these men who have dreamed from the very first time they put on a helmet what it would be like to live this moment. The sound of the final whistle, a declaration of victory, while fireworks bellow high in the night sky around them. This moment, witnessed by the world, when they can truly call themselves Super Bowl champions. This game's big plays and magical moments are now part of NFL lore, to be replayed over and over again. A highlight reel of charged memories that show that this team was capable of taking hold of this moment capable of becoming historic and on the other sideline the creep of doubt and second guessing brought on by heartbreak that they came within one win of immortality only to see the stars had written a different script one in which their daydreams of victory were dashed what a feeling for these players an ongoing sense of accomplishment they'll get higher lives and a victory this community can forever cherish. It's a win that has eluded so many superstars who have tried, and these men now know it is a gift to rise to the top, to exist even for a second at such a rare height. A bond has been formed that can never be broken, and the spoils are immeasurable.